Good evening, class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you guys? Very good. Can you guys hear me? Or? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. All right. Well, welcome to today's class, guys. Um, um, good to see you one more time. How was your day today? Everything okay, teacher? Everything is okay? Good. Excellent. All right. Um, and how was your day, Janet? Very good, teacher. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, thank you. I can hear that. How was your day, Heidi? Uh, a little bit tired. I'm a little bit tired, so it was a heavy day. <laughs> oh, it's, it was a heavy day. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Um, well, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like sometimes some days are heavy, sometimes some days are okay, and you know, that's life. <laughs> yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more relaxing for you. Okay, and Daniel, how are you, Daniel? I'm fine, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Good, good. I'm 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 happy to hear that. And your day was good. You had a good day, yes? Um, you had a good day, yes? Daniel? Sorry, uh, teacher. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Um, repeat, please. Sorry. Oh, I was saying, it, how was your day? Did you have a good day today? Um, yes. Um, I am tired, but I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Good to hear that. All right. Okay, well, guys, uh, welcome. I'm glad to see everybody. Um, we'll, without further ado, let's take our attendance. Um, do I have Ana Claudia? Present teacher, here. All right, wonderful. Ana Claudia, good news. I was able to solve uh, your problem. Oh my God. <laughs> May I know if the issue was uh, the previous email? I It, it was, yeah, I think so because um, now you appear with both uh, accounts. Yes. So, um, so yeah, now, now I can see it. So it's okay. <laughs> okay, thank you for that good news. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's continue. Andres Giovanni? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Um, and do I have Edgar? Edgar, Edgar. No, no, not here. Okay. Uh, Janet? Present teacher. Wonderful. Okay. Um, and Fabiola? Present teacher. Great. Present. Um, Heidi? Heidi? Maybe it's having trouble with the microphone. Are you with us, Heidi? 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 Hi. Hello, hello. Hi. Sorry. All right, good. I was just wondering if you were with us or, or something had happened, if you could hear us. Okay, okay, good. All right, so, so we're, we're okay. I couldn't right. hear maybe. No, you couldn't hear me? Oh, okay. I couldn't. Maybe it was a Wi-Fi problem. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it, it could happen. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, Irene? Irene? No, I can't see Irene. Okay. Um, Josue Alberto? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Wonderful. Carla. Present teacher. 
Okay, wonderful. Um, Melissa? Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. And Luis? Present chair. Okay, wonderful. And Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro? No, I can't see him, no. Okay. Um, Manuel de Jesus. Um, I don't see him either. Okay. Okay. Um, Mar Marvin? Present teacher. Wonderful. Wendy. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. No, I can't see Wendy either. No. Okay. All right. Um, do I see Werner? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Noemi? Noemi, no, I can't see Noemi either. Okay, Yvonne? Present teacher. Wonderful, okay. And uh, Daniel? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Jorge? Jorge, Jorge? No? Good evening. Good evening, Edgar. Okay, so we're going to put Edgar here because... So Jorge, not here? Okay. Marlene? No? Marlene? And Ricardo? Ricardo? No. Okay. All right. So so far, I didn't I didn't get a response from Irene, um, Manuel Alejandro, Manuel de Jesus, Wendy, Noemi, um, Jorge Alberto, Marlene, and Ricardo. Right? None of those people are here. No. Okay. All right, great. In that case, we're going to move on to our next part, which is taking a look at our um, at um, the PowerPoint presentation. But before we do that, I have a question for you guys. Um, I saw that some people were having trouble yesterday still with the exercise from the platform. My question is, were you able to do it? Everybody got the, the correct answer? Yes. I have problems, teacher, with number three. Okay, did did you try what I said of just writing the word? Uh, which word, teacher? The, the word app. that you want to change it to. So the word that you want to correct, like what is the, the, the correct word, in other words? Did you try doing that? Uh, o sea, solo poner la palabra que usted quiere, a, a la cual sería la correcta de que usted quiere cambiar o plazar. Did you try doing that? Yes, but I have the same problem. What word did you put? There are. Okay, just one word. Only one word. There or? What is the word that there. you want to, that, that you need to change? There or are? Are. R, so just put R. Uh, uh, but in the sentence is, is uh, just R, so. Mm -hmm. Just put R. Okay. Try it and, and see, and tell me what happens. Okay, teacher. Okay, all right. Okay, anybody else have any problems or were you able to do the exercise? Yes, it's okay. All right. Okay, guys. Yeah, okay, great. See, there you go. Nice yeah. All right, very good. Okay, all right, wonderful. Okay, so let's start with our, um, our class today. Can everybody see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So today is the beginner module five. 
unit two, directions and instructions. That's the unit number two. And uh, today the date is Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. And it's day number seven and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so um, yesterday we started talking about, about um, how to explain what exists in a place. There are two words that we use, or better said, two structures that we use. What were the two structures? There is and there are. There is and there are, very good. And when we want to explain what doesn't exist, we say? Not. There are not, there, there isn't. Good, there are not or there aren't and there isn't okay very good so now it's your turn to um try to figure this out to try to um uh, to make sentences with um with there is and there are okay so let's start with um the, the instruction here we have first get in pairs so i'm going to put, put you in pairs with uh in the in the breakout rooms and then it says Prepare a two minute conversation about your companies. Tell the company's location and uh, so like the, the office or the branch, whether you know if it's in the, the office or if it are their branches, whatever it is. Good evening. Good evening, Francisco. And in what cities they are present. Okay. Use the model conversation on the next slide as a reference. Okay, so um, you're going to create the conversation, two minute conversation with your partner, and we're doing this. We are, so we're like, we're using this conversation. Remember, we saw this conversation yesterday, right? So you can say, for example, my name is Tom, nice to meet you. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Um, yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so notice that we are always using there is, um, there are, and in the negative, we also use there are not and there isn't, right? So try to use this in the conversation about your company. Okay, so remember, this is a this is the the these are the instructions okay so you're going to tell the company's location and in what cities they are present uh, are we are clear about the instructions uh, teacher i have a question sure. uh, in my case it's not an office uh, it's a manufacturing plant okay. uh, manufacturing plant is like branches or branches is only for office? Um, no, because um, sometimes you can have uh, like, a, a, like a factory, like we can have the main office of a factory and then we have different factories. So those are also branches too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Thank fine. you. You're welcome. All right, any other questions guys or do we understand what we're gonna be doing? Okay. 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 All right. Let's get you guys into uh, groups with our breakout room. Okay. There are uh, there are sixteen of you. Oh no, fifteen of you. Okay. All right. Um, just give me a second. So we're gonna work in pairs, guys. Okay. Um, one minute. Just wanna fix some things. Okay. All right, guys. So I have the groups here. So go ahead. You're going to create the conversation, 
should last about two minutes. You're going to talk about your company and your partner can talk about their company as well. Okay, so um, let's open it up. There you go. Go ahead. Hello, Wendy, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes, I hear you. Sorry, teacher. I uh, start the class uh, late. Sorry. Oh. Uh, my son, well, estaba hambre de comer a mi hijo, perdón. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Um, all right, I'm going to send you to a group. The idea is for you to create a conversation with your partner about the things that exist and don't exist in your company, okay? So using there is, there are, there, are, there aren't, there isn't, okay? Okay. okay. There you go, Miss. Um, un momentito. No, pero, pero, no, se, no se vaya, no se vaya todavía. No se me vaya. Eh, ok, hoy sí. Okay, hoy sí se puede ir. Hello, Fabiola, can you hear me? Hello, Fabiola. Me sacó la aplicación, no sé qué pasó. Algo bien raro pasó porque la tenía doble. Oh. <ríe> en un momento la miraba doble y yo, ¿qué, qué pasa aquí? <ríe> sí, no, no sé qué pasó, pero me sacó la aplicación. Uh -huh. ah, ok. Um, ok, it's ok, no problem. But I'm going to send you there to group. Quiero ver. Two, okay. Okay. Okay, I will start. So Heidi says, my name is Heidi, my name is Heidi, nice to Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too, I am Marvin, I work Two. for Cotecna. Nice to meet you too. Wow. And Marvin? I work for Cotecna, El Salvador. Um, I think Heidi is having problems with uh, her internet. Yes, teacher. Very, hey, very. Marvin, you, you know what you can try? Is it, are you having problems because of the weather? The Heidi? name is unstable. Is it's it because windy. of the weather? 
Mm -hmm, I guess. Okay, let's try it's something. Kind of windy. Okay, let's try something. Um, just for the just for this, um, try to turn off your camera because sometimes uh, if you turn off the camera, then uh, you don't have okay. that much. Um, that it, like it, it could be a little bit more stable. So try and see if that works. Okay. Okay. All right. So go okay. ahead. Continue, guys. Here we go. And I'm not here. Thanks, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Marby, what did what what's your company's name? Sorry, I couldn't hear. Cotecna El Salvador. Cotecna. Cotecna. C O T E C N I. C O T. Okay. Oh, there's um. Hi guys. I think you. Um, so do you understand what you're supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah, for this uh, conversation different uh, the, the the other conversation, no? The the, the uh, my work is, or or you work the or or work the, the Andres. Uh both. You're gonna be talking about uh Andres's workplace and your workplace. Okay. 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 Thank you. So, uh, hi, my name is Giovanni. I work for La Calia Cisalan, Chiratenango. Yes. So, idea to pass the name. See, there is this. Um, say. I had the address, but. Um, okay. Maybe not in this one, but it's but it's near of, of Walmart. Yeah, it's near the Metro Centro, San Miguel. Um. Yes, like no, uh, five I'm, I'm or not sure. ten minutes. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm not sure. I've just go to the to the company and to the hotel that is. I think I feel that is around the corner is the comfort in. Yeah, yeah, it's. So I from, think it's around the corner. Metro Centro, San Miguel. Ah, lo que tú querías es saber a uh, cómo llegar a la a la, a la oficina en 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 Ciudad Pango, lo que tú, tú preguntabas, ¿ah? ¿eh? Okay. Uh, hello, I am Daniel. How are you? You're me. I'm fine. I am Edgar. I work in Pollo Indio. Entonces yo le preguntaría, Pollo Indio is located in San Salvador? Uh, y usted me dice de que, que sí, que están ubicados. ¿Dónde? ¿Cómo era? ¿La parte suya? Uh, yes, uh, there is an, an, an office in Soyapango Department, San Salvador. Okay. Y luego tú, tú hablas y yo te decía, yeah. Tú me preguntabas si había más, más sucursales. Yeah, there are a branch. Or branch. more than one. Y usted me dice que, yes, there is uh, three branches. There, there are, there are, there are three branches. There are three. Three branch office. Branch office, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entonces, hasta, ahí, hasta ahí nos hemos quedado. Sí. De ahí sería como de... Mm -hmm. Where is, uh, where is the locator, uh, the, the office, the office, uh, soy a pango. So try to remember, remember to try to use the there is, there are, there aren't, there isn't. That's, in that's, question, that's, teacher, and sorry, sorry, teacher, um, in question, is there fine? But yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, 
next um and there are there are many branches i know are there many branches how many branches uh, how many branches how many branches great how many branches there are uh, have a teacher the uh, welcome <laughs> thank you <laughs> um a ver para preguntar uh, how many branches um, tienen ustedes en, 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 a, lo, a lo largo del país o dónde tienen oficinas okay so you would have to say how do you ask how do you ask okay <laughs> okay uh, how do you ask how many branches what how many branches uh the company have in a, a lot of of the country a lot of countries um around the country around the country okay around the country around the country yeah mm -hmm. okay uh, how many branches have around the country how many branches are there around the company are there are there uh, around the country Lisa. Okay. there are not there are not uh, branches hello Irene hello how are you excellent good yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I, I right now we are in the breakout rooms. Um, the, the students are uh, working in pairs, but I didn't want to send you over there because we're almost finished, right? So, para qué la voy a estar mandando y para mira ya casi va a venir. Okay, but I'm going to use this time to ask you about something, um, Irene. Uh, I haven't been able to see any of your homework uh, from the platform. Are you having problems with that? Okay, yes. No, no, I don't I don't have any problem about about it. But I couldn't start to do it. I hope to start next weekend. You're gonna start next weekend? Yes. Okay, I, I need you to to start a little bit before because the thing is that by this weekend you should have the section one, section okay. two, and the midterm. Okay. So I need you to start working on it now. Is it possible for you to start working on it now? Okay, and then I'm going to start today. Huh? the class i think please yes it, they don't take very long um i i'd say irene it's gonna take you maybe like 10 minutes okay okay to do one exercise that's not okay. right but but i need you to start events because um the thing is that i have to report i have to report every every um, weekend I have to be reporting and at this moment I have had to report zero for you. So ahorita, okay. eh, usted, o sea, es la única que tiene ahorita el cero, entonces no queremos, okay? okay? All right, so I need you guys, I, I need you to start um, doing the exercises starting now and that way if you have any questions you can ask me, okay? And, you, and we can solve the problem before, but if we are waiting until the end, it's too much, okay? So, so, hagámoslo poco a poco, Okay. Okay, good. I'm going to close right now the groups, so um, we're gonna get all the people. So, para que no se asuste que de repente todos empiecen a a meterse. Okay. Everything is okay. You understand? You have understood all the topics. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, welcome back.
feedback, guys. We all had opportunity of creating our conversations. Yes? Yes. No? Yes. Are we ready? That's all. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys are ready. Um, so what we're, we're going to do right now, um, we we don't we won't have time to be listening to all the conversations uh, because otherwise we won't have time for the rest of the class. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do a random wheel picker. Do you understand what a random wheel picker is? Al azar. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's uh, una rueda al azar, right? Okay. So we, I'm going to do the, the, the wheel picker and I'm just going to go by groups. Okay. So um, I have seven groups and I'm going to right now spin. I'm going to. Spin. Seven. We were in room number eight. That's what I, was, I remember. Oh, really? Yes. I was oh, really? with Juan Francisco. And also with Ivonne. No, so <gasps> like siete. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, go ahead. There, only, <laughs> there were only seven rooms. <laughs> Maybe yesterday. Yesterday, yes. <laughs> but today there's only seven. Okay. Um, okay, so just give me a moment. Okay. All right, guys, so um, here we go. We're gonna be picking. Okay, and my winner is group number five, which is Josue, Carla, and Melissa. Okay. <laughs> so let's listen to your conversation, guys. Josue, okay. Carla, and Melissa. Okay. Hi, guys. My name is Melissa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Melissa. My name is Josue. Um, Carla. Carla. Sorry. Nice to meet you, guys. <laughs> My name is Carla. Carla, nice to meet you. Where do you work? I work in a Burger King. So the central office is in San Salvador, near to Redondelma Ferrer. There is a um, capacitation office. And about the branches of my company, uh, the real name are restaurant. The, there are... 47 restaurant in El Salvador. What about you, Josue? Oh, um, I work in an international company. Uh, the central is in Geneva, Switzerland. Um, in El Salvador, we have five branches and we are planning on launching one in La Union, in the port. Um, where did you work, uh, Melissa? Well, I work for Distribuidora Salvadoreña. Uh, we are a company that import liquors and some categories of goods. And we also um, produce hard, uh, hard liquors or national hard liquors and medical alcohol. So we have our main company here in Santa Tecla and we have our warehouse in Lourdes. Also, we have a branch in San Miguel and two liquor stores, one in Santa Tecla and the other one in, in San Salvador. So that's it. We didn't, we didn't oh, okay. the end of the Excellent, conversation. Guys. Very, very, good. Good. very good. You did a wonderful job. Very, very good. Okay. Excellent. All right. Okay, let's um, now go to um, the next. Oh, by the way, Josue, um, it's uh, Geneva. Geneva. Yeah, I, I have a problem with the uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just letting you know so that 
for the future you know, right? Geneva, Geneva. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Okay. Um, so we continue. Here we go. Um, okay. And it's group number seven. Group number seven is Haiti, Manuel de Jesus, and Marvin. Oh, hello, Miss. Uh, Marvin had to leave to see something from his work, but I don't know oh. if he's around here. Okay. Uh, what about with Manuel? You tell me what to do. What about with Manuel? Did you have a chance to work with Manuel? I had the chance. I got the conversation. Okay. Read it myself. Uh, can Manuel help you with the other part of the conversation? Um, I, I, I don't think Manuel, because he went, he got into the group a little bit uh, later. Okay, so you weren't able to work with Manuel too much then. Manuel, do you know? What to say? Where are you? Are you able to do the conversation? Not to share it. No. No. Okay. Okay. In that case, um, maybe later when when Marvin comes back. Okay. So okay. Uh, we'll choose another group. Okay. This will be our last group. Um, And it's group number two. Okay, group number, hold on. All right, so we have group number two. Um, and group number two is Fabiola, Luis, and Wendy. No. No. Are you ready, girl? <laughs> okay. Okay. My name is Luis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Luis. I'm Wendy. I work for Fruit of the Loom. And this is my friend Fabiola. Oh, I know the company. There is there is an office in the La Libertad. Yes, there, there are in La Libertad in Ciudad Arce. What about you, Fabiola? Where do you work? I work for, for Distribuidora Salvadoreña. There are two branches in the country. There are one in San Miguel and one in Santa Tecla. That's great. I visited one of the story the other day. That's great. I work for Sigma Q, the packaging company. There are seven branches in the country and the, and three in the rest of the Central America. And we are planning to launch one in China and other in sales office in USA. Just that, teacher. Okay, very good, bravo. Excellent, guys. Very, very good. Okay. All right, sounds good. Um, just um, a little observation. Um, I know that it says, uh, for example, they're talking about, you were talking, about, I think, I don't remember who said this part. Um, I think it was, Wendy, I'm not sure though. Um, that said, uh, there is um, there are one in blah blah blah, and there are another in blah blah blah. Who said that? Or well, I, it doesn't matter. The but, thing the thing is that I know you were talking about two places, but when we're talking, to, but in that case, we're talking about them separately. Okay, like when you say in Spanish, "hay una en," "hay una," so one, right? There is 
So we have to say there is one because we're talking about only one. Okay. So even though you're going to be mentioning more than one thing in a in one sentence, but if um, if we are separating them, then it has to be there is. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, so remember that. Uh, remember that so that it's it, it's easier for you to remember that um, even though you may be talking about. Um, more than one thing, but if you are separating the like this one and then this one, then we have to be using there is. Okay. All right, guys. Um, all right. All right. So what we're going to do um, is continue on with the next part. Um, just give me a moment. Okay, let's um let me share. Okay, can everybody see the PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So this is the activity that we had. This was a conversation as the example. Now today we're going to be looking at another conversation. Okay, this conversation is between Miss Jenner and Michael. Okay, not Michael Jackson, right? But Michael. Oh no. Right. <laughs> okay, so here is Miss Jenner, and here is Michael. So. Miss Jenner is supervising a new branch and she asks about the location of the places in the branch. Okay, so here, so this is Miss Jenner. She is the supervisor right, because she's supervising and she's asking about the new branch. So let's see her conversation. All right, so she starts. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We repeat morning. after you, right? <laughs> yes, of course. Good morning. Okay, good. All right. I know it's I, I know it's late for it to be morning right now, but <laughs> just imagine, imagine, okay? And Grace, it's slow motion, teacher. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, let me just correct this. There is a there is an e yeah. missing, right? <laughs> Yeah, there is. I a, thought it was like a kind of slang or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you would think, right? But no. Can I go to the Let's uh, put one here. So, this is, uh, there's, there should be an E over here. So, it should say, um, just give me a moment. Too small. A little better. Okay, let me put it a little bit closer. Okay, so there you go. So, good morning. Are you Michael Paris? Oh, sorry, Michael. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Actually, I'm going to tell you something that I learned uh, just a few days ago. Exactly. Um, I know. Una boca ocho horas permanente. Okay, it, this is actually something vez. I learned a few a few days ago. Um, you know, in Spanish, the stress is on the first syllable, so it's on it's Perez, no es Perez. Okay, but ojo con eso. in English, um, if you just if you put the stress on the first one. Then in English, it sounds like this, right? So if you say Paris, it sounds like you're saying Paris, like the city. So in English, people put the stress, uh, well, you know, 
especially like Americans, they put the stress on the second syllable. Okay, so in English, you don't say Paris, you say Pere. You, sorry, you don't say Paris, you say um, Perez. Perez. The stress is on the second one. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, and that, that's actually something that I had never really thought about. But um, I, you know, I learned it a few, a, a few days ago, because when I was, um, I was uh, translating or interpreting um, somebody's last name, and then the lady's like, is it Paris or Perez? <laughs> and so, and then I go, oh, okay, they're confused, because in English, if you put the stress on the first one, it sounds like the kind of the city. Okay, so there you go. Okay. Anyways, let's continue. Um, so we have um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Good. Okay. I want you. To, we're going to stop there for a minute. I'm going to. We're going to be paying attention to the intonation. Okay. So when you say this part here, oh, sorry, this part here, we can't just say this part and this part the same. You can't just say "nice to meet you," "nice to meet you." What we normally do is when we stress. Um, when we, but I said, when we answer the same thing, nice to meet you, we normally stress another part, which is the word you. Okay, so you, they say, for example, nice to meet you, nice to meet you, Ms. Jenner. So we stress the, the you. So nice to meet you. Yeah, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So yes. right here, the, we would be, um, yeah so we're going to be stressing the word you okay so they're going to say nice to meet you miss jenner okay so this is nice to meet you we normally stress the word meet over here okay so nice to meet you nice to meet you miss jenner okay all right, so let's practice the intonation with this one. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Good. All right, excellent. Let's get started. Let's, let's get, get, get started. started. Is there a conference room in here? Is, is there, there a, a conference room, room in here? 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 Yeah. And if so, and if, and if so, and if so, so oh. are there enough seats? Are, are there enough, enough seats, seats? For listeners? For listeners? For listeners? listeners? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. 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 Absolutely. absolutely. The conference room the, the conference room is sorry um in so, sorry this should say is it's is next to the training room there's another is next, 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 next to the training, room. Training, room. training room good okay let me just um fix that quickly so it should say is not in Okay, there you go. 
So is next to the training room. Got it. 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 How about the lawn, the lounges? How about, How about the lounges? The lounges. The lounges. Or recreate recreational places. Or, or recreational, recreational places. places. Is there a lounge? Is, Is there, there a lounge? lounge? A lounge? A lounge. Yes. 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 It is in front. It is in front of the cafeteria. Of the cafeteria. Inside the new building wing. Inside the new building wing. Good. All right. Excellent. All right. Um, something that I wanted to mention is remember this part right here, the so? When it says if so, like yes. Case, is saying if yes, exactly, okay? So when it says, is there a conference room in here? If so, you're saying, if there is a conference room, okay? All right, so remember that part. And I and have that, a question. And mm -hmm. that paragraph teacher, before you move to another one, I have a sure. question. Why is necessary to use the in? It just, it's not necessary to ask, is there a conference room here? It's not a way to um, ask for? Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be okay too. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, and do you understand the word got it? Or better said the expression got it? Got it? What does that mean? Got it. I understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, it's like when you say, yeah, lo, yeah, yeah, lo tengo. I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any questions so far about the vocabulary? Um, no. The lounge. What is no. the difference or the description? Um. You it's the same know, word. You want to know the meaning of lounge? Is what it says uh, right there, recreational place? Uh -huh, but what my question is, do you want to know the meaning of lounge? Or yes, <laughs> please. Okay, all right. Yes, the word lounge um, is, it's a place, uh, it's basically a space where you can relax. Um, you know, just, you know, like hang out, you know, relax. That's a lounge. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, mm -hmm. So just like a maybe a, a space with couches where ah, you can just um, relax. Television or music. Mm -hmm. or yeah, uh, but that is uh, like I said um, because we're talking about a um, a workplace. Like this is a place. A lounge is a place where you can relax in a building where it's not. Como va? It's not for relaxing, but it's a place where you can go to ah, In a okay. place, that is a good description. In a place, that is not for relaxing. Okay. Yeah, it's not normally for relaxing. Um, so like a, like a workplace, right? Okay, so, mm -hmm. it, you know, if you go to work, obviously their, your job is not, their, the idea to go to work is not just to have fun, right? That's not mm -hmm. what the purpose <laughs> of it, right? Uh, it's to you know it's to work to make money exactly. right okay yes. so um but in a place uh where you're not supposed to like i mean it's not for relaxing there can be a place where you can go to relax so maybe in your um in your workplace at your job there is an area that is designated uh, for um, for people to go and just chill out and relax, right? Um, so that maybe the the employers can feel, you know, less stress. So they can go and just like during their break time or lunch time, they can go and sit in the couches and just relax. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. 
All right, anything else that you want to ask about? Any other words about meaning or pronunciation? That's okay. No? Okay. All right, wonderful. Yeah, sorry, you had someone say something? What is the meaning of the word win? Of the word? Win. Oh. Bird. Wing. A, like a bird. A bird has wings, right, to fly, yeah, the wing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Como en el otro día, la del, de la oficina. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's like saying, like, a, a, the wing in this case is not a bird, right? In this oh. case, it's um, it's not a physical, or better said, it's not literally speaking. It's more like a like a, another name for a hall, like the hall or the, the hallway. Okay. I understand another area in the same building. I don't know if no. Um no. the complete sentence is the, the new building wing. Yeah. I understand that that there is uh, another part of the of the building, not a lounge or mm -hmm. or a room. No, yeah, exactly. It's not it's not a room, it's actually a section that comes a section, from, a section right. that comes from the main building, right? Okay. Just like the wing of a bird, right? The wing of a bird comes on the side of the bird. Right? So it's like a section that is on the side of the main building. So okay. it's like a, a hallway that's another area. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Any other words? Okay, all right, so I have some questions that I want us to complete. So looking at these questions here, what word would you put over here? Okay, so da -da -da, there, um, there are enough seats for the listeners and da -da -da, there are a conference room. What word would we, would we put there? R and E. Okay, so the first one would be R. Okay, good. So according to the conversation, is are there enough seats for listeners? Yes. Okay, are there enough seats for listeners? And the next one would be is is is. Is there a conference room? Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you to do is go ahead, work with your partners, same partners. Well, no, actually, I don't think I'm gonna have the same partners before. I'm gonna change you guys around. You're gonna practice the conversation. One time you're gonna be Miss Jenner, the next, the other time you're gonna be Michael. And you're gonna answer these two questions. Okay? Okay. So let's um Let's see, give me a moment. Okay, I'm opening up the rooms. Oh, wait a sec, just give me a second. Let's... Okay, so I think I'm gonna give you six minutes to work on that. Or I don't think we need that much, five minutes. Five minutes is fine. Okay, so I'll go ahead, join your group.
Entonces sería de cambiar, bueno, uno de los dos empieza primero a la lectura, ¿verdad? Así es, eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Yeah. Uh, we, we only practice the conversation. Practice the conversation and answer the two questions. Uh, okay. 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 Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, I am Miss Jenner. Yeah, and switch, right? First time you're Miss Jenner, second time you are Michael. Okay. So switch. Have the opportunity. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Uh, good morning. Yes, I am. A lounges are recreational places. Is there a lounge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside uh, the new building wing. Yeah. Okay, so then if you want, you can read the questions. Below. Okay. Uh, is are there enough enough seats for listeners? And the other one. The cafeteria inside. Inside. Uh -huh. Oh, this is your. This, this is my. Your, no, this it's yours. Yeah, the, 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 is Miss Jenner too? Yes. Uh, I think it's a it's a mistake because okay, yes, uh, uh, the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay. Yes, it is from after cafeteria inside the new building wing. Change. Okay. Uh, now change the role. Yeah. Good morning. Are you Michael mm -hmm. Perez? Is there a conference room? Nada más hacer la, la, como sabiendo en la pantalla, ¿verdad? En la parte de Michael, cuando responde abajo de yes, absolutely. La teacher hizo la corrección que ahí aparece in, y es is, is next. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there? No seat for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lunch on recreational places? Is there a lunch? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay, so Elgar, now now you are um, Mrs. No, now you now I am again Mrs. Je Miss Jenner, and you will be Michael. Okay. Practicamos otra vez. Démosle. Ya las preguntas ya están. Hi, teacher. Sí. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. We speak already, but we will practice again. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, okay, go ahead, Luis. Yeah, I am sorry. You start. You start. It is okay. Good morning. Sure. Are you Michael Perez? My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, if so, are there an seat for listeners? Yes,
Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, because, um, hold on, give me a moment. Um, okay, so what we're going to do right now is um, before we continue, we're going to check the attendance again. So, um, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Great. And the Giovanni. Present teacher. Wonderful. Edgar. Present teacher. Great. Elsie. Present teacher. All right. Excellent. Fabiola. Present teacher. Great. Francisco Javier. Present. Excellent. Um, Haiti. Present teacher. Awesome. Uh, Irene. Present. Excellent. Uh, Juan, uh, Josue. Josue Alberto. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Francisco. Present. Present teacher. Excellent. Carla. Present teacher. Okay, good. Melissa. Present teacher. All right. Luis Ernesto. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro. No. Okay. Uh, Manuel de Jesus. Present. All right. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Wendy. Wendy. Present teacher, sorry. Okay, thank you. Uh, Werner. Present teacher. All right. Soila. Uh, sorry, Soila Noemi. Noemi? No, it's not here, right? No. Okay. All right, not here. Um, Yvonne. Present. Great. Daniel. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Alberto. No? Okay. Uh, Marlene. And Ricardo. Ricardo? No. Okay. All right. Great. So let's continue now. Um, so let's uh, answer the two questions that we had. So we had two questions here. Oops, sorry. So we had two questions, um, which were. This one is, um, are, are there, are there enough seats for the listeners? And the other question is, is, is there a conference room, right? Okay, so let's answer this question. Are there enough seats for the listeners? What are, what's the answer? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm, good. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so that's our answer for number one. Okay, number two. Uh, is there a conference room? The answer? Yes. 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 It's yes. Next. Yes. It's next there, to is. The room. there is a conference room next to the there training. Is a conference room. Good. Yes, there is a conference room. There you go. Those are the answers. Okay. Any questions about this? No. So far, so good. Okay. So. If you notice in this in this conversation here, we were asking questions about what exists. Okay? So, for example, we asked, "Is there a conference room?" Here? 
Um, if so, are there enough seats for this center? Is there a lounge? So these are all questions. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna be learning how to make questions. Um, how to make questions about, um, questions, sorry, how, many, how to make questions about things that exist. So let's, let me show you the next PowerPoint. So asking about what exists. So here we have the words in bold. Look at the words in bold and complete the statement in the box. So I need um, a volunteer to help me read the, the four sentences or the four questions for this Who can help me read? Me, teacher. I can, teacher. <laughs> Okay, go for it, Yvonne. Um, okay, uh, number one, is there a meeting room in your company? Number two, is there a treatment plant in your workplace? Number three, are there enough representatives? And number four, are there many restrooms in your work? Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Excellent. All right. So now let's talk about um, the words that we use for singular and plural, okay? So let's talk about singular. How do you ask singular questions? Is there? Good. I'm gonna say, is there, whatever the, the complement, and then we would ask the question, is there blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's how we would do it. So far so good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. All right, now, how would we ask for plural questions? According to these examples, how would you ask? Are there? Are there. Exactly. Are there. Okay. That's how we would ask. So we would say, is there blah, blah, blah? Are there blah, blah, blah? Okay. Pretty, pretty straightforward, right? Any questions about this? No? Okay, so to make sure that you do understand what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you here some sentences. These are sentences that we saw yesterday. There's a raccoon in the park. There's a museum down the street. There's a grocery store on the corner. There's a park in front of the house, in front of my house. There are several restaurants across the street. There are some people in the room. There are two new teachers at school. There are two supermarkets on the street. Um, there isn't a theater near here. There isn't an art gallery in my town. Um, there isn't a subway station around their school. There aren't any churches in my neighborhood. There aren't many soccer fields around here. And there aren't any gas stations on the street. Okay, so these are all sentences that we saw yesterday. Is it, do you guys remember these sentences? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna practice changing the sentence to a question, okay? So let's see if you actually remember how, or I better say, if you not remember, if you understand how to do it. Um, so let's share. Okay. Everybody can see? Yes, we can. Yeah. 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 Uh, can you change the color, please? Sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking right now. You just read my mind because it was too light. I, I never noticed it was too light. Is that better? Yes, teacher. Thanks. Much better. Thank you. <laughs> 
All right, sorry guys, I, I really didn't notice that it was too late. Okay, so anyway, so here we are. So um, there is a raccoon in the park. Let's start with the first one. How would you change this sentence to a question? Is there a is raccoon there? in the park? Good. All right, so we would say to change this to a question, we would say, is there? Is that is that okay? Is this color okay, or is it still too to, um, to light? I can see it. It's okay. Okay. And just make sure you add the question mark. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that it's complete. All right. Okay. So. Um, all right, next. There is a museum down the street. How do you change it? Is there a museum, museum down, down, down the street? In a street. Good. All right. Miss, when would you use, is there any museum down the street instead of, is there a museum? Um, Mm. Yesterday you say that any is most common use for plural, right? Yeah, exactly. But yes, it is possible. Uh, most of the time, it's a little more colloquial though. I don't, I wouldn't say that that it's, that it's like very, I mean, it is, it is used in speech, but not so much in writing. So, for example, you could say, is there any chance that um, you can, we can move the, 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 the appointment, for example? Is there any chance? So that would be okay. But um, it's not very common, okay? It's more common to use any with plural. Okay. Okay, good to know. Okay. Next, uh, there is a grocery store on the corner. How do you change it? Is there a grocery store on the corner? Right. Is there a grocery store on the corner? And make sure that we, end. we put the question mark here. Okay, next. There's a park, um, there's a park in front of my house. Is there a park in front of my house? Right. So we would change it simply, change it around, is there. Instead of saying um, there is, we would say, um, sorry, instead of saying um, there's or there is, we would say is there. Okay. All right, now here there is no contraction, right? We can't contract this. Okay, there are several restaurants across the street. Are there several There's restaurants several. across the street? Right. Okay. So we're gonna say, are there several restaurants across the street? Mm -hmm. Good. So all we're doing is switching. That's the only thing, we're just switching the words around. Instead of saying there are, we're gonna say are there. Next, there are some people in the room. Are there some people? Are there? Right. Are there some people in the room? Okay, next. There are some new teachers at the school. Are there two new teachers at school? Good.
Okay. Um, next, are there two supermarkets on the street? Are there two supermarkets on this street? Right. And there are two supermarkets on the street. And there you go. How do you guys feel about this? Any questions? So far, so good? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Um, okay, now let's go out to the other column. The other column says, there isn't a theater near here. Ah, so now it's negative. That, that's a little different now. So how are you going to make the question? Isn't there a theater near, near here? Mm -hmm. Not really. We're just going to keep it simple. Okay, so even though this is negative, the way that we would ask is still going to be the same. Okay, so you're going to ask. Is there a teacher near here? Right. Mm, so the negative is most commonly used to answer. Right. Ah, okay. Okay, so far so good? You with me on this? Okay. So far so good, guys? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Next. There isn't an art gallery in my town. This time I'm going to ask different people um, in the class to give me an answer. So let's um, start with Luis. Luis, could you give me the question here? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Is there an art gallery in in town, or there was one before? Okay. So, is there an art gallery in my town? Um, we could just simply we could change this yes. to or. Or, or uh, yes. Okay. Um. This and, and the question. Yeah. Um. This is actually. Um, it is it, would, it is correct to say it like that, but that's just um, we don't need to worry about this. Okay, so just hold, okay, but yes, that would be that would be the correct way to make it. Make the question. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, uh, Carla. Carla, help me with the next one. Is there as a subway station around their school okay is there a subway station around their school very good okay good next um let's have um um Melissa, Melissa, help me with the next one. Okay, are there any church, churches in my neighborhood? Thank you. Okay, so are there, not are, not are there, but are there. Okay, are there any churches in my neighborhood? Okay, next uh, we'll have, um, we'll have Yvonne help us with number, next one. Um, are there many soccer fields around here? Very good. This is are there, not there aren't. But are there? Uh, 
And finally, the last one uh, will have um, uh, Warner. Warner, help us with the last one. Are there any gas station on this trip? Excellent. Are there any? Okay, how do you guys feel about this? Any problems, any questions? Teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Teacher. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh huh. When uh, when when can I, when can I use in an or a or, or a? For example. Is there an art gallery? Is there a theater? Uh, the, the use of a and an. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's a very good question. Um, let me explain by probably the best way is uh, right in over here. So, okay, so we have, um, Okay, so we have A and on. Now, some people, and some people just simply say, okay, well, they make it simple and they say, um, you know, A is for, um, is for uh, words that. We see the word starting with. Uh, consonant. Consonant. Right. Okay. So most people just keep it simple. They say, "Oh, it just it's um it depends if the next word starts with a consonant or not." Okay. And that is partly true, but not that's not the complete truth. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'm going to explain to you what it is. Okay. It's not really about. It's not really about um, the next word sorry, the next letter, it's not so much about that. It actually has to do more about the, the what's it called? Um, it has to do with the, the next sound, okay? So let me just give, give me a moment while I do this right here. Okay, there we go. All right, so it has to do more about not the, the, the letter itself, but about the sound itself, okay? So for example, um, words like, um, I don't know, juice, okay, ju, ju. The sound juice, so it's gonna be over here, under here. Let me actually change the, the sound, sorry, the, the, the color. Okay, so we have, oh, why is it not changing? Just give me a moment. Okay. No, why is it not changing? Just give me a moment. Okay. All right, so we have juice, okay? So juice would be under this word, under the setter. We have, um, I don't know, glass and liquid, et cetera, et cetera. And the reason is because it, the, first, the first letter that um, the word starts with is not is that it's consonant, but actually the sound is consonant. So we say a juice, ju, ju, juice, a glass, the, the, the sound, so it's consonant and sound. A uh, liquid, l -l 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 -l, right? So it's a consonant sound, okay? And um, for the word and, we would have words like an orange or, um, or an umbrella, okay? <clears throat> or an octopus. Okay, et cetera, et cetera. 
Okay. okay. Now you may say, oh well, well, yeah, that's 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 um the same thing that you know it it depends on the the the, the letter that it begins with. No, not really. And the and the reason is I'm going to show you in a moment why there is a big difference between um, the, the letter and the sound. Now, these, letter, these words, um, their sound is at the beginning with a consonant. These words over here at the beginning, they are with a vowel, okay? But what happens, for example, when I have words like, um, What happens when I have words like um, university um, MP3 SUV um, Euro? What happens when I have words like this? Well, think about it. University. Where would it go? Under A or an? Uh, an. An university. A uh, universe. Uh, so, uh, or an. An. Uh, uh, an. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember, remember the the, the sound the rule, right? The rule is the sound is important, not the letter. You the sound. And if you think about the university, you, university, is that a vowel oh. or a consonant sound? Vowel. Well, uh, it's a, it's a university. You, you, um, university. The sound um, is? Um. The sound um. is a consonant, right? You, yes, the sound of consonant. University. Because you do not pronounce this university. It's not university, it's university. So that means that because the university is a consonant sound, then we would put it under here. At university. Mm -hmm. Sounds good? Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Now think about this word. MP3. Where do you think it would go? Under a or an? An, because an, M. Um. <laughs> exactly. Think about it. You do not say M MP3. MP3. It's not MP3. It's MP3. MP3. So the sound is a consonant or vowel? Vowel. It's a vowel. So you would have to put it over here. It would be M, M, hold on. MP3. Okay. So un MP3. Okay. Next one. SUV, SUV. You understand what an SUV is? Bowel. Bowel. No. And what is an SUV? So oh, I don't know. Kind of car. It's a kind of car. Car. Exactly. Uh. In Spanish, we call them camioneta. In English, uh. we call them SUV. Like a suburban. <laughs> It's actually, it stands for sports utility car. Uh, sorry, sports, sorry. Okay. sports util, utility, ugh. sports utility vehicle. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's an SUV. All right, so how would you, which, which place would you put it? Under a or an? An. Um, an, because we say S, 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 Suvi. It's not suvi or suv, right? You don't say suv, it's S 
UV, eh, 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 it sounds, it's a vowel sound. So it would be over here. Okay. It'd be under this one. All right. And the last one, Euro. Euro. Where would it go? And. And. No, Euro sounds like uh, Y at the beginning. Exactly. If you think about it, you say Euro. 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 Yeah. Euro. Okay. Right? Ah, uh, Euro. Oh, you do not pronounce it Euro. It's not Euro. It's Euro. 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 So Euro. put it go over here. You. Okay. <laughs> Does that make sense for you guys? Now, yes. It's the yeah. first time that I heard that also it's involving the sound. Yeah, <laughs> that, the actual, the rule is really about the sound. It's not the letter, it's the sound. My goodness. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there another rule that apply to this or just the sound or the beginning no, letter? For, no. for this, no, that's it. Ah, okay. Oh, look, okay. it's the sound. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sounds good, guys? Yes, yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Thank you. It's yes, just like, teacher. for example, why do you say an hour and not, you don't say an a hour? Because the word hour, even though it starts with an H, right? Even though it starts with the letter H, um, we do not, we do not um, pronounce the H. So we say an hour, an hour. We don't say a hour, okay? It's an hour because a, 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 a hour, it's a, it's a vowel sound. So that's why you say an mm -hmm. hour, okay? Okay. Okay, so that's about that. Um, let me just erase this so there we don't have problems with the other. Okay. Um, so let's go over here. So you guys are ready. You we we Thank saw the, the the rule here. Now it's for your your turn um, to make the converse uh, to make the the conversions here, right? So or make the questions that I said. So the instructions. Write the questions that correspond to the answers that follow. Use the words in parentheses. So for example, is there a conference room in your company? Yes, there is one. It is next to the manager's office. So here's the answer and you're, you would have to create the question based on the sentence. The same thing over here. Number two, we have the answer and we have to make a, uh, the question based on the word in parentheses. We do that for number two, three, and four. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys time to work on that.
are you guys doing? Teacher in the number three. Yeah. Is clinic or clinic? Oh yeah, thank you. Um, there is a there is a typo there, so it should say. Clinic. Okay. You guys, you can ask me anything else if something's not clear. Okay, can we check? She's speaking. Yeah? Anybody need more time? No? Okay. Let's check. Um, okay, so let's have um, Francisco. Can you help me with number two? Because number one has been done for us. Francisco or me? Uh, Francisco Javier. Okay. Um... Are there training rooms? Sorry. <laughs> Are there training rooms? Like this? Oh, fancy. Sorry? Offensive, thank you. Offensive. Why? Fencing. Oh, fencing. <laughs> yes, teacher. I, I call it, yes, sir. Okay, all right. Yeah, could be. It, it, it will sound like a complete sentence. Are there training rooms in your company? Or it's okay if we leave it like that. Are there training rooms? Because uh -huh. it's in the same conversation I, I, I'm asking for. Um, You could say in the company, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. And how about saying, are there any training rooms? Good, okay. Notice that the answer is, no, there are not any. So definitely the word any would go in there. Okay. okay. Are there any training rooms? Okay. I think I'm going to make a small one. Okay, so far so good? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Next. Number three. Um, let's have to the other Francisco, Juan Francisco. Give me a question. Okay. Um, is there any? Is there? Is there any on site clinic? Like that? Uh, I don't understand. 
on-site clinic. On-site clinic. Compose. A clinic, a clinic that is in the place. Like uh, to give you an example, if we're talking about the company, um, normally in a company we don't have a clinic, but we can have. Um, there are some companies that have a clinic inside of the building, of the workplace, right? Okay. And workplace. Like, like what you call here in El Salvador, clinica empresarial, right? That's an on-site clinic. Uh, okay. All right. So what what is the question? Is there any? Um, Is there any what? Tell me. <laughs> what comes after any? On-site clinic. Okay. On-site clinic. Like this? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes, we could say that, although remember when we said the word any is mostly used for plural? For plural. It's, it's all, it sounds like there's only one. So is there, would it be better to say an, an, an on-site clinic, okay? Mm -hmm. Because, and especially because over here it says the word one. No, there is not one. And another way of saying one is un. Un means that there's only one. Okay. Good. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Daniel, can you help us with number four? Mm, sorry. Um, are there restrooms inside? the building okay all right anything you want to add remember what do we use when we have a question in this plural we say are there Sorry guys, I don't know. Zoom kicked me out. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, let's try this again. Sorry, but se borraron las 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 respuestas, pero creo que ya el número. Last one we were writing. Okay, so we have. Um, are there are there restrooms inside the building? Teacher, in that case, is it okay to say, are there any restrooms inside the building? Give me a moment. So let me moment, chicos. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, sorry, uh, what was the question? If it is okay to say, are there any restaurants inside the building? Yeah, not only is it okay, but it's the best thing to say. So you would say, are there any, any restrooms inside the building? That would probably be the, the best answer or the best question, better said. Okay, sounds good, guys? Yes, I have a doubt, teacher, but it's in regards to the meaning. Is there uh, something physically that, makes the difference between the restrooms and bathrooms, or is the same meaning? Um, the word restroom is usually used more in the United States. Canada and uh, the UK doesn't use the word restrooms. Ah, okay. But restrooms refer mostly to the toilets, or better said, public toilets. That's a restroom. 
so a public toilet. So we don't really call restrooms. In uh, my house. Yeah, in your house, you don't really have a restroom. We have a bathroom. A bathroom. Ah, okay. That would be the difference. Okay. The usage of the word. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Okay. So we have a few minutes left. What I'm going to ask you to do is um, let's erase this. All right, so here we go, the next. Okay, so your turn. Write five questions about um, asking about places that your work, your work, your classmates work. That's as far, I think that's as far as we're gonna go right now. So all I want you guys to do is write five questions asking about the places that your classmates work. Okay, so you're gonna say, is there blah, 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 blah? Are there blah, blah, blah? So you're gonna ask, you're gonna write five questions that you wanna ask your classmate about their workplace. Oh, one more thing, make sure that we're using is, uh, use is there and there are, and are there. Um, by the way, guys, uh, while you guys are writing, continue writing, um, I wanted to know, well, first of all, um, I, well, let me just ask this before. Haiti, um, technically, uh, like uh, officially, better said, you're, today you have your, 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 um, a, your tutoring class, but I know you had it yesterday. Do you want to have a second the second time, or would you like to donate that time to another person? I guess it's, it's okay to donate it to another person. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Haiti. Is there anybody that would like to stay behind for today and have the, the tutoring class today? Anybody would like to take advantage of those minutes? No? Okay. All right, no problem. Okay, you guys finished? Do you need more time?
Okay. All right. So I would just like to hear um, some of your questions. Go ahead and just shout out what are some of your questions? Anybody? I have one. Okay. Are there female supervisors in your company? Okay, very good, excellent. All right, another question? Hey, I have, a, I don't know if he's, this one is correct. Are there security guardians? Is that a correct word to use? Security guards. Oh, security guards in your company? Okay, very good. Okay. Excellent, any other questions? Other people, anybody want to share their question? No? Hey, teacher. Okay, go for it, Luis. Yeah. Is there a swimming pool in your company that you work for? Is there a what? Swimming pool. Swimming pool that yes. you work for? <laughs> Uh -huh. you, at, the at the company okay. that you work for. Oh, at the company that you work for. Oh, okay, I sorry, I missed the word that. Okay, okay, sounds good. Yeah, my, my that would be wonderful if somebody answered yes. Okay, when are you are in Indus? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. At the hotel. No. Or a hotel. The hotel, exactly. Uh, or a let me tell you. If let me tell you, we have one because uh, oh. I want to know if another company have one. Wow, <laughs> okay, nice. Yes. yes. Well, we want to know where he works <laughs> <laughs> so we can go and apply. <laughs> okay, good. Maybe, uh, there, there, are, there is a soccer pool too. A soccer pool. Yep. So after work, you can use those uh, installation, those places? Those amenities. Yes. Amendment, amendment is the amenities. word, right? Amenities. Amenities. Yes, amenities. Ah. Mm -hmm. So after work, amenities. you can use those okay. amenities, Luis, I guess. Yes, yes, we can at the, at the lunch too, wherever you want. If, hey, where if do you, you work? Are not on your work hours at CMAQ. That sounds great. That would that would be wonderful. Can you imagine? Um, you know, being you you can like you know you're very stressed from work and then you just go to the pool, you relax, and then you go home and you're just so relaxed. You can just go to sleep. <laughs> Yes. Unless you have English class, then you can't go to sleep. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Um, well, that will be all for today. Um, I think that's it. I'm just going to take the last time attendance. So just let's just let's quickly say yes, you're here or not. Uh, so we have Ana, Clau Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Andres. Right. Edgar. Present teacher, present. Okay, good. Elsie. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Georgina, uh, Fabiola, Georgina? Present teacher. Good. Uh, Francisco? Present. Great. Heidi? Present teacher. Irene? Present teacher. Jose? Jose? Se nos fue. Okay, so he's on here. Okay, um, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Okay, Carla? Present teacher. Melissa? Present teacher. Eh, Luis Ernesto? Present teacher. Manuel Alejandro? Manuel de Jesus? Present. Marvin. Marvin. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Wendy. Present teacher. Warner. Present teacher. Noemi. Noemi, no, right? Uh, Yvonne. Present. Great. 
Daniel. Present teacher. Great. Jorge. Jorge Alberto. Marlene. Ricardo. No, okay. Here. All right. So that's it, guys. Um, that will be all for today. Um, just remember, always uh, try to um, complete the te the the um, homework for today would be number seven. Si van al día, es mejor porque así no se está acomodando y pueden hacer preguntas cuando en el momento para que no se les olvide yo le puedo explicar. Okay. I have a question in regard to the middle test that will that must be done until Monday, right? Or yeah. Friday? Yeah, no, <laughs> Monday. You can do okay. it. On okay. 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 Right, guys, that's it, guys. Take care. See you. Thank you. Tomorrow. Thank you, you, teacher. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. You. Good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher, puedo hacerle una pregunta, teacher. Bueno, no es una pregunta, más que todo es un comentario. Y no sé, he platicado con algunos de que hemos comenzado los módulos desde un inicio. Yo sé que hay personas que son muy avanzadas, pero cuando se trabaja en grupo, hay quienes se molestan con uno, porque no reaccionan a la misma, el mismo conocimiento que tiene el compañero. Eh, la semana pasada, le digo, teacher, con mucha sinceridad, la semana pasada yo pensé retirarme del curso. Que me tocaron tres personas casi seguidas, con las cuales, pues, eh, me sentí menos en ese momento. Claro, después borré el cassette y dije, no, no es posible, tengo que seguir adelante, le tengo que echar ganas, o sea, me motivé yo mismo porque, bueno... Dejaría de ser de, eh, entrenador, fui deportista y dije, cuando las cosas no salen bien. Eh, pero es importante a veces decirlo. Muchas veces yo le digo a mis alumnos lo mismo. Tú tienes que decirme para ver qué, qué cosas podemos hacer. Sin embargo, hubo un momento que sí me sentí un poco... Al final me sentí mal, pero después molesto porque era como... No, no hablas nada de inglés y, y como que, ah, no entendés. O sea, yo creo que... Quizá esa no es la actitud de algunos compañeros que sí tienen un mayor conocimiento y yo lo reconozco. O sea, yo digo, bueno, estoy aprendiendo, quiero seguir adelante. Eh, eh, es una forma de, de motivarse, pero al mismo tiempo creo que tampoco la actitud de los compañeros debe de ser eh, comprensible. Claro, hay dos extremos, los que no trabajan o los que tratan y, y, y los que no hacen nada a, a otros que realmente no hacen nada. Hay mucha diferencia, pero ah. creo que esa, es, es, esa cosa a lo mejor no sé en qué momento abordarlo junto con todos y tratar de decir, mire, si usted sabe, ayúdale al compañero, explíquele. Yo sé que a veces los, los tiempos son cortos, pero el objetivo es que el que sabe más, si le ayuda al que sabe menos, pues creo que va a fortalecer lo que ya sabe o por lo menos algunas cosas que dice, ah, no, me equivoqué, le, le enseñé mal. Entonces creo que hay un complemento. Uh -huh. Entonces, no sé, lo menciono hasta ahora porque hemos platicado con varios y creo que, es, digo, creo que ha sido oportuno hoy este, mencionarlo. Y lo menciono porque yo sé que eh, el señor, ahora salió un compañero y no hizo nada. Y creo que a lo mejor la señorita se molestó. Eh, pero cuando trabajan a veces con alguien que no entiende, es algo parecido, sentía algo igual, a lo mejor él quizás no sintió nada, pero bueno, yo sí, yo quizás soy más, eh, no susceptible, pero por lo menos quiero ponerme a la par o trato de ponerme a la par. Eh, y yo creo que eso en cierto momento sería bueno, digamos, como un consejo para todos. Mire, ayudémosle al compañero, el que sabe más, eh, trate la manera de ayudarle. O lo mismo que usted dice, llámeme, estoy yo aquí, llámeme para ver en qué puedo ayudar. Porque yo he visto que cuando yo le he pedido ayuda es porque en realidad no sé o no entiendo y usted ha llegado y, y, y lo ha hecho de la mejor forma. Pero algunos compañeros creo que no, no, no entienden esa, esa parte. Okay. Nada más, teacher, solamente. No, no 
está bien. Muchas gracias a Warner por, por compartir ahí um, con, conmigo sus sentimientos, ¿verdad? Y son válidos. O sea, eh, creo que es importante que todos um, nos sintamos bien, que todos tengamos un espacio para poder eh, pues um, expresar ¿verdad? nuestros sentimientos y nuestro um, y nuestras opiniones y, es, y son válidas. Así es que le agradezco a Warner por, por um, haberme dicho eso. Eh, pues um, tiene razón, ¿verdad? En decir de que uh, pues todos necesitamos ayudarnos, ¿verdad? Y mutuamente, um, ¿verdad? Y para todo, no solamente para el inglés, sino que en, en la vida en general, todos, todos necesitamos del uno del otro, ¿verdad? Eh, y gracias no estaba al tanto ahí de, de esa situación en particular, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ver cómo podemos hacer para, eh, pues, ayudar, ¿verdad? En lo que podamos y, um, ¿verdad? Pues, um, eh, tal vez en la mejor manera poder uh, abordar el tema, ¿verdad? Y, sí, correcto. Es para no causar un problema, o sea, esto no es de, de causar un problema, sino de, de unificar más al grupo o, o hacer conciencia, porque igual yo no, no es que tenga problemas, pero yo, yo entiendo, porque cuando alguien sabe, y, y lo digo lo entiendo porque a veces yo tengo alumnos que saben, o sea, tienen mucho, digamos, eh, tienen mucha experiencia y a veces los pongo con los novatos, entonces eh, a veces no les gusta, es como que se sienten de menos, entonces yo le digo, les, les ayudo al, al, que, al que tiene al, al que ya tiene experiencia le digo, haz lo que él haga lo que tú quieres, entonces tú vas a lograr tu objetivo entonces uh -huh. yo creo que eh, y esa es una manera de, de, entonces ya después entienden y dice profe, tiene razón o sea, llévalo a donde tú quieras entonces creo que el que sabe más tiene que llevarnos a donde él quiere aprender o sea, algo que él necesita aprender y nos lleva a nosotros lo practica y ganan todos una manera de, bueno, sé, pedagógicamente creo que es de esa forma, pero Me parece. Uh -huh. es, es un comentario porque sí, algunos compañeros no nos sentimos tan bien, o sea, nos sentimos un poco, digamos, como tal vez es, no es que sea un sentimiento, sino que a lo mejor eh, quisiéramos saber más, pero, pero a veces estamos limitados y creo que esa es la única diferencia, pero... O sea, eso fue la semana pasada. Pensé que, pensé que solamente era conmigo, pero no ha sido solamente conmigo. Creo que, que, que ha sido con algunos compañeros que hemos venido trabajando anteriormente y, y lo expresan. Pero bueno, o sea, es, no es para hacerlo grande, sino es para abonar. Claro, pero es, yo creo que es, o sea, siempre um, hay, una man, o sea, hay, hay un espacio para poder mejorar las cosas, ¿verdad? Claro. Entonces, um, sí, podemos... podemos um, Ahí tratar el tema, ¿verdad? Y, y ver cómo, cómo mejoran, ¿verdad? Esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Siempre ir mejorando. Ok, teacher. Pero Thank gracias, you. gracias, bueno, por, um, por dejarme saber y esa situación y así pues poder ayudar en, en lo que yo pueda, ¿verdad? Sí, no, y, y en realidad, fíjese, teacher, nunca, yo le digo, desde que hemos comenzado desde el primer módulo, dos, tres, cuatro, y hasta ahora que se da, he sentido yo que, que hemos sentido, yo he sentido esa parte, y algunos compañeros que hemos comenzado. Eh, y, en, y en eso, pues, a veces quizás eh, eh, uno lo expresa, pero no para, para, para hacerlo negativo, sino para no, 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 no. poder mejorar lo que usted dice. Okay. Y eso es lo importante, pues, nada sí, más. Y lo bueno es siempre decirlo, porque yo igual hablaba con los compañeros yo le digo yo le, voy a, yo le voy a decir a la teacher porque me parece o sea cómo abordarlo para no ocasionar un problema porque no queremos ocasionar problemas sí, no, que, no, no, no. que sea armónico y que sigamos como, como hemos estado por la, la claro. metodología siempre nos ha gustado y ese es lo mejor ¿verdad? sí sí claro no se preocupe um, o sea no no no, no esto no es para causar división todo lo contrario vamos a tratar de unificar verdad Así que no, no se preocupe, Excelente. pero sí le agradezco mucho um, ahí su, um, su opinión, ¿verdad? Y, y el, el haberme lo expresado, porque creo que eso es lo más importante, el expresarlo. Um, porque, bueno, si no lo expresamos, 
nunca se sabe, ¿verdad? Que está pasando, nunca se puede mejorar. Entonces, es. creo que es importante expresarlo y expresarlo de una forma respetuosa, ¿verdad? Um, creo Perfecto. que también eso es importante para que si al final haya un, una, un efecto positivo, hay que hacerlo de una forma respetuosa, ¿verdad? Pero sí, Así me es. parece muy bien. Excelente, Perfecto. gracias, Warner. Okay, y uh, alguna otra cosita que le puede, con la que le pueda ayudar? No, eh, bueno, teacher, eh, solamente, bueno, quizás mañana, uh, bueno, si mañana no se queda alguien, posiblemente es con la plataforma, porque no entendí, eh, voy a hacer las oraciones porque no les, las del día de ayer no las he hecho y las voy a hacer el día de hoy, y si tengo alguna duda o algo, pues mañana le, le consulto, teacher. Con gusto, bueno. uh -huh. sí, me parece. Bueno. Ok, ok, okay Warner. Teacher. Un gusto, cuídese mucho. Good night, see you Good tomorrow. Night. Good night.